This is David Biloff, and I'm here right now with legendary bass player of the Whalers, Mr. Aston Family Man Barrett. How you doing, sir? Fine, thank you. Right on. Thanks for coming uh, all the way here to Portsmouth, Virginia, all the way from Kingston, Jamaica, right? Yes. I just have to jump away right in the middle of the, you know, the action they have down there. That yeah. little... They called in the early 70s, and now it's back again. Wow. Anyway, I hope they get their thing together and shut it down real fast. It's not good. Right, not at all. And probably in a, uh, uh, what happened in the 70s and what's happening now has influenced your music in many ways, probably, if you listen to some of the socially conscious uh, themes in, through your songs. Yes. Well... That what we were trying to do at all time, you know, to keep the young people in line so they don't walk on the wild side with culture, music. You know, that, uh, that's what the reggae music is all about. Roots, cultures, and reality. But along the way, you know, through the, the high-tech age, you know, people get involved with a lot of things and a lot of movements within the material world. So problem will occur through those areas for sure. <laughs> right, absolutely. So um, a little bit of in your history, uh, you uh, you used to work with a band with your brother, the Upsetters. Uh, the first band actually was called the Ippy Boys. The Ippy Boys, okay. And from the Ippy Boys to the Upsetters, then youths, professionals, and that is what become whalers internationally. Excellent, excellent. So so for many years you've been the uh, you've been the band leader and musical director in many respects of these songs, these legendary whaler songs that we've heard and you've written all the bass lines for this. Yes, so true. Wow. That must be amazing and um, you know, how does it feel to to be considered internationally known as a as a living legend in the music world? It's a real good feeling to know that I was voluntarily chosen for the mission. And I always told them that thy will must be done by all means, no matter the crisis. <laughs> right. You know, and I wanted to ask you about that. You, you mentioned uh, that you were chosen. You were, uh, you know, this is a spiritual, uh, a spiritual thing that you're yes. telling me about. Yes, you know, from the Almighty, for sure. Yes. To just like our elder brother, Jesus, in Hamaric, but in English it's Jesus, <laughs> you know, was on earth to fulfill certain works just the same, just as Bob Marley, you know. And, uh, of course, my brother, Colton Barrett. Right. And we miss Peter Touch also. <laughs> yeah, I know all um, amazing musicians that you had an opportunity to work with, and uh, they got to learn from you, and you got to learn from them. And <clears throat> yes, and we always say that one good artist always inspires from another. Absolutely, yes. very cool. Um, you're you're currently uh, you have a, a campaign, uh, an initiative called "I Went Hungry." Um, yes. Could you tell us a little bit more about that and the new song you're working on with that? Yes, well, you know, it's the UN who started that program, the World Food Program, and we link with it also with the whalers.com. And it, it is written by Wayne Stevenson. He's, he's, he's with us, too, as a guest artist from Jamaica. And we're going to be performing it tonight for the very first time. Wow. Yes. Now, this is, um, see, this is the song A Step for Mankind with the World Food Program. Yes, it is. Wow. That, it's, and and I, I heard it. Uh, you no, it. it was arranged by um, a early musician, which I first was at in the studio in his early years, Dean Fraser, when he was 16, 17. Oh, okay. He and his band, you know, but I was in the studio when it happened in a way, you know, and Jennifer, Mila and myself were there too. Cool. And but we let them do that part, you know, which was it was so good. Yeah, we did have a program out there which we still that if we could even take one day of the rider 
you know, cause many a time we leave all the liquor and the refreshment into the dressing room and um, all of that go to waste. So we see if every band out there could put together some of that and um, use up their rider even for one night, one yeah. day, and put all of that for the World Food Program, it would be so cool. You get the message out and people, yes. you build it and it will come, they say. Yes, and put the money together. And we have some band that, like this, not this one, but it marked I Went Hungry, which we sold on the merchandise stand for okay. $2. Because it is said that even 25 cents can feed a kid. Right. So, so when we said one band for $2, it can feed eight kids save eight lives excellent that's a beautiful thing it's it's good to see you know uh you know somebody with 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 so much legendary status like you you know really giving back and knowing that it's your calling and feeling and genuinely believing in your heart and soul and doing something about it yes you know? uh, are you writing new music yes we are working on some new ones and i even have another artist whose name is um, Robert from Colorado. I just produced an album for him. Oh, very cool! Right on. Yes, and and the next tour is starting on the 19th of the coming month. We should be have some of those copies on the website and on the merchandise stand too. Nice, nice. It's produced by me, of course. It's yeah. Robbie and Family Man Barrett from the Whalers and some of the Whalers member for sure. And it's a good stuff. You know, Bob Marley has, be, you know, he's become such a, it's such an iconic name and, and the music is so iconic and wherever you go and hear your music and Bob's music together, it's such a big thing. What was it like to just hang it out with him, you know, when you guys were, you know, younger back in the, in the 70s and even like before or after a gig or getting to know him, what was, as a person? Yes, well, we always listen to to the news you know home and abroad what is taking place in the world you know and heard here and and we always put those things in lyrical melody and music right. just to point it out to the people like get up stand up for your rights you know right on i know good i know pleasant it will be to see the unification of everyone yeah and things like that, you know, as Bob would say, redemption songs, that's all we ever had, <laughs> you know, songs of freedom, one love, is this love, you know, could you be loved, <laughs> you yeah. know, and to keep the people in line, especially we, we always focusing on the young people, because they are, they are the future, yeah. so we want to keep them on the right track. So they don't walk on the wild side. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say, man. Cool. Well, uh, I guess in conclusion, I want to ask you one more question, uh, um, a personal question, and that is, uh, where do you find your happiness? Well, of course, happiness is I desire, and it's got to be same place on earth here. It won't be in Mars or in those other place where they're trying to find in in our in <laughs> outer space because heaven heaven and earth is the same place, and without the heaven you would never have any space, and the space represents the earth, just as much as the earth rep represents the space, just like the sun, the moon, and the stars. It's the whole universe of the Almighty creation. So we should accept it and use it wisely, and does not destroy it. <laughs> Pollution, you know. Right on. Well, I want to thank you for taking your time today to meet with me, and um, have a great gig tonight, sir. I think it's going to be great. Be, yeah, man, we've been working on it. As you could see, some of the individuals in the room when we were here, are we getting ready now to finish, set up the stage, and go outside and do a line check and run. One or two before showtime. Excellent. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Aston Family Man Barrett, legendary bass player of the Whalers, and he's going to have a killer show tonight, man. Yes. So come out early and stay late. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> <laughs>